हेलो आप हाउ डस इट साउंड डस इट साउंड better you are yeah. good you can you can move a little bit uh, to one side uh, i think uh, to your no the other side the other side yeah uh, one second please is there anybody from uh, voice of healthcare kush bhi are there so you are live uh is it uh, the which one has to move the camera yeah yeah this is good this is good yeah this, this is, good. is good yeah yeah maybe uh, but sure if you if you if you don't move this is good no again it moved away this What is good yeah. this position is good yeah okay yeah that's good that's good yeah yeah, yeah that's that's even better yeah. correct yeah <laughs> okay okay yes kushbu yeah, yeah? sorry yeah okay 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 we are live now uh, dr sadullah uh, a very good evening to our esteemed guest uh, the very eminent and senior healthcare leader dr m i sadullah uh, a very warm welcome to you and all our respected viewers it's wonderful to connect with you after quite some time uh, i will introduce myself at first i am anjun bose and uh, this is for the viewers many viewers who have joined i am the uh, former founder secretary general of nat health or healthcare federation of india and former president of philips healthcare and philips consumer lifestyle i was also the uh, uh, chairman of uh, cii's medical equipment division and founding chairman of fikis uh, medical technology forum and fikis overall um, uh, healthcare committee uh, before that i was in hewlett packard as asia pacific uh uh the uh, emerging markets uh, director so that's a nutshell about me have been in healthcare for a long long time and we have as our guest the very wonderful very professional dr sadullah uh, dr sadullah is chairman and managing director of kims health uh, india's one of the uh, most uh, eminent healthcare institution led by this eminent personality dr sadullah wonderful to have you we'll have a free flowing conversation sir for half an hour okay so we Thank start you. by uh, right we ask uh, you know let me start by asking you uh, just uh, say a few word about yourself uh, you know uh, uh, in whichever format i know you were in nha and you have such a such a checkered uh, 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 biography and profile if i may say so please go ahead sir yeah thank you very much anjan uh, nice to see you after a long time and uh, perhaps uh, covid helped us to see meet again this yeah. virtually <laughs> yeah right yeah so some of the advantages of uh, covid 19 anyway um i you know right. i am i am a doctor by profession i am an internist and um, i i uh, graduated and post graduated in kerala and uh, then moved to england spent a little time there and um, and I had my membership and um, you know rest of the things which can be there and then um, i moved to a, a medical system of uh, called uh, i mean a, of the of the um, mo- the biggest oil company and that is um, ramco and uh, which uh, entirely different from the uk system uh, following a, an american company a Ar- american arabian oil company that is ramco right. and right. Uh, so the um they had a very robust american system yeah. and so i went through that for quite a bit and i had the opportunity uh, by that one to go through um the uh, to us and work in some of the good hospitals yeah. and then um, then after about 25 years there i thought of uh, coming back home and sure. uh, just uh, sharing some of the le- lessons uh, uh, i learned um along yeah. with my friends and team and to see yeah. what we can do uh in the area of healthcare in india and so that's uh, where I, i am back uh, so i came back as a entrepreneur uh, but um, you know i left here as an internist and still i am a practicing internist no that's uh, that's as usual humble of you you are one of the 
best combination of professionalism and grace that I have come across in my four decades in healthcare. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, can you just talk a little bit about your Kim's journey? Which, uh, when was it and how did it uh, start? Just a little bit about Kim's, which is such a, uh, uh, you know, path breaking institution, uh, uh, one of South India's and India's best. So, we'll, I, yeah. I'm sure the viewers would be very privileged to know about it. Yep, yeah, I'm honored to do that. And um, uh, see, uh, uh, while I was um, in uh, Aramco, and uh, I was um, involved in the management of that uh, medical system. Uh, right. I was in the management too, and to, uh, in a very much in quality. And I also had an opportunity to take a, um, you know, um, a management, an MBA, uh, business yeah. management uh, uh, degree from UK. And yeah. so all that um, pointed to uh, when I come back, what, what I have to do. And I was also planning to uh, immigrate to uh, US uh, on time. And uh, but then I thought that a home is better and we can do something there. Yeah. And uh, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good and, for uh, India. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good, good for me too. <laughs> yeah. So, because I enjoy what I, I do yeah. and sure. what I could, I could do. Uh, what, what happened was that um, everything has got something in your mind. I, I had to come a few times to see my uh, father <clears throat> who sure. was sick at that time. And, sure. um, and I had to uh, take him to hospital and all. And then I felt that uh, there is a lot of things which is desirable in our system. And uh, sure. I wished I could give a better care to my father in a uh, sure. couple of occasions. So sure. that was a stimulus. And I'm sure, sure my friends who joined with me also had a same kind of stimulus. Sure. And uh, sure. so Dr. Vijay Rakhavan, uh, sure. he, he, was, he was in Dubai yeah. and uh, my, right. uh, you know, people here, brother. And sure. so what we did was that we put our ideas together and sure. uh, said that, okay, let us start uh, a, a, a medium-sized hospital at that time, sure. like 250 yeah. bed hospital at Trivantrum. And that's sure. how we started. Yeah, that's Excellent. how we started. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. As I said, it is uh, Kerala's and India's gain. So we are glad that uh, you came home and you started, uh, which uh, shaped up to be such a wonderful institute. And, uh, you know, it also gave opportunity to all of us in the healthcare sector and industry to have companies of leaders like you. Just a small question, personally, going back, was there any trigger which uh, made you choose uh, uh, medical and being a doctor as a profession? Oh, certainly. I think, um, you know, ever since um, in my childhood, I, right. I, I I had a doctor in my family, my cousin. Right. Um, okay. He was kind of a, um, you know, adult. And uh, so I wanted to, I, I always followed him. Uh, but uh, I did not look at any other profession uh, <clears throat> and except uh, medicine. Medicine. And, uh, yeah. Wonderful. But, but uh, interestingly, first I got in engineering. And I wasn't sure I will get a medicine admission. And sure. so I went and joined. I was on the train to go and joined for medicine. And then in the, in the train, I read the paper and my hmm. name was there for the medicine. So I Good. got out there. <laughs> I got yeah. out there immediately, went back to my father and yeah. said the good news. And he was very happy. So I always wanted to take medicine sure. and uh, so continue to uh, enjoy that. Sure. It is very interesting. This is not a story about me, but you. But I have exactly a reverse journey. My entire school <laughs> life, I was being groomed to be a doctor. Then I yeah. landed in IIT and never came back. But we'll talk. <laughs> possibly that was my stimulus to be in healthcare, even being an engineer. But we'll talk yeah. about that in another occasion. And, yeah. you know, uh, as we all know, uh, doctor, uh, uh, a few months back, it's like the power of thousand tsunamis hit the world and hit India also. You know, we had one tsunami a few years back. That was enough. But we have thousand tsunamis as if that hit the world and caught us all unaware. We are not prepared. So this incredible corona pandemic that none of us have faced a similar situation in our entire life. I mean, transformation has become a very mild word now. Uh, possibly it's going to create a disruptive metamorphosis. It's beyond transformation. So uh, how do you think, sir, as a very senior, uh, wise, experienced healthcare leader, not only a doctor, 
but builder of such an institute and being in the industry what do you think a very broad question future of healthcare will be like what are the impacts you think of this uh, sudden thousand tsunamis that have hit up, hit us through the corona pandemic yeah i i do agree anjan uh, it is a once in a generation experience and mm. um, a total disruption which sure. has touched uh, every facets of uh, humanity and uh, sure. perhaps every human being in all over sure. the world and sure. um, i think it will change um, uh, healthcare and uh, many other industries uh, sure. very very um, you know drastically and you said it that um, you know uh, what you called um, uh, this metamorphosis you, metamorphosis and um, yes. yeah it's a transformation so a lot of innovation <coughs> have to come in sure and uh, in sure. that innovation <coughs> that will transform us to a new normal which we are talking about all the time in sure. in healthcare i would uh, say that uh, the 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 healthcare impact itself uh, is a major one probably sure. everybody is familiar uh, by the this time and sure. then we had the um, the governance impact you know sure. the lockdown and uh, associated sure. problems for sure. healthcare yeah. to do that and then Absolutely. also uh, we the economic impact everyone is very much aware and uh, the, the the more and more is only going to come and uh, so healthcare is going to transform into a, a quite different uh, scenario and we all should be prepared for that and yes. uh, i feel that um, you know eventually at what is that eventually means it's in a foreseeable future i don't know right. i cannot predict that but uh, hmm. certainly is going to be better and uh, people are going to learn to live with covid and uh, see you utilize the healthcare in a better fashion sure so when the people yeah. are getting ready for that the question we have to ask is all the healthcare workers and healthcare um, delivery system are they are we ready to give sure. uh, what you, people want and sure. um, so sure. all the previous normal we are doctors i am going to sit here in my office uh, sure. patients are uh, the guests, <laughs> guests are going yeah. to come all that are going to change <laughs> yeah. but one sure. thing is sure there will be a lot of diverse i mean there will be a lot of investment coming and uh, sure. probably the government itself will increase the dgp uh, right. the gdp, GDP growth yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, to four or five percent i hope and that sure. will come in yeah i and hope so then, too <laughs> yeah <laughs> then uh, the care will become uh, much more decentralized i suppose sure um, sure you know yeah i think um, uh, people are not going come to come to big hospitals where like sure. like kim stevantram uh they they will come only for very selected purposes and mm. uh, so uh, we have to go to them we have to take the sure. care to them and to their doorstep or to the centers nearby them so there will be a lot of decentralization will come and the digitalization i think a lot of this uh, technology now unbelievable and um, even the hospitals are become technology companies you know sure. and uh, absolutely so that, yeah that yeah, that 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 is going to come and so that sure. we can deliver and the people can contact you through various telemedicine sure. um whatsapp you can pay through the online and then sure. you just come and uh, even in the you know we have started a drive in uh, vaccination center sure. so sure. all the all they will do all this online they will drive sure. in take vaccination and go home and they sure. don't want to even get into the hospital Correct. yeah Correct. and uh, or wonder, we yeah. send it to the community so i think a totally different picture is going to come the most important thing i may just conclude with is that sure. we we have to design trust and uh, we have to design trust from the people and loyalty from the people because sure. they are looking sure. for that kind of assurance from the healthcare system and sure. uh, because they are looking for a kind of consumer experience sure. and uh, sure. and that 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 experience we have to provide to sure. whatever system we are doing and then yeah. only we, we can revive absolutely uh, you made so many uh, uh, really re- relevant points about future of healthcare and the disruptive changes that we'll see but the crux of the thing is that we all have to possibly you know i was reading somewhere the uh, the three arts 
like uh, this is we are responding now the first hour we have to after the covid is hopefully gone in a few months or a year we have to reset our whole uh, system and our own psychology attitude and then perhaps we have to reboot you know now uh, after that the rebooting is what you are saying you know the age of digitalization uh, technology <coughs> has to be will be part of our life uh, yep. patients uh, also have to learn mm -hmm. to adapt to technology mm -hmm. excellent points uh, doctor and you know yep. you just uh, put the word in my mouth i think sometimes uh, 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 if i may say uh, we have to remind ourselves that the most important stakeholder in healthcare uh, is patient you know at the end of the day patient is the yeah. final uh, point in the chain uh, of command if i may say so what do you think and, and you know so, uh, we are scanning the other day some of our friends in healthcare that in no other sector we have the word care perhaps health care we have yeah. uh, it we have uh, chemical we have cement uh, com uh, computer coal but care itself is something you know an overwhelming word so possibly the way you uh, you yeah, know what do you said that how to uh, you know we have to go to the patients and uh, reach out to them so i think that's a very impactful statement you made so what do you yeah. think from patient attitude point of view uh, any quick thought you think they have to also adapt their expectations will change and the trust part dr sadullah you and i have worked shoulder to shoulder in the sector even in that health uh, and other institutions that That's you know we, yeah we wanted to uh, bring break this trust deficit that exist in healthcare and uh, work in collaborative spirit so do you think that the tsunami will teach the whole sector some lessons learnings and we can work <laughs> better together <laughs> including yeah. the patients yeah i think so uh, i i think it's an opportunity we have to yeah. look at it as an opportunity both the public as well as the healthcare providers uh, take it as an opportunity to understand each other better right, right they have right, demands right. they have got expectations and um, and doctors were never tuned to that in the past sure. and sure. now we have we have started out of the box and i think sure. by compulsion if not uh, you know by persuasion both sure. both ways people are getting out and enquiring what do you need what sure. way we can work together so sure. it's a, it's a previously you used to say the patient engagement now that yeah. engagement is leading to the customer engagement is leading to um, an experience and experience. Uh, exactly the, they yeah in the experience you are a stakeholder as a, yeah. a, 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 a customer and i am also a stakeholder because i am yeah. providing you and sure. this understanding and this is the most important thing which is going to happen and uh, that may have a some regional changes in a sure. in a metro it will be you know different and in a village it will be different and sure. uh, in, <clears throat> yeah, in 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 technology also uh, the finance part of it everybody cannot afford sure. uh, you know a corporate can afford but sure. everyone has to uh, really leverage within their capability to provide right. what is expected out of their catchment area or their customer sure. focus yeah sure that, that sure yeah so it is definitely going to change and uh, sure. i yeah. feel that it will change for the better because um, in kerala I, i don't know whether you know at least uh, mm. one patient comes with the four visitors okay uh, yeah. four <laughs> escorts four escorts when they come into yeah. the hospital Yeah. now we are allow only one uh, person right. to come with you and right. very rarely um, you know if it is a pregnant lady husband and wife yeah. uh, you know uh, husband right. is there and father is there or a mother yeah. there and so right. that is the kind of uh, restriction yeah. rest of the yeah. people we have made sheds outside where they can Excellent. wait comfortably yeah Excellent. and so Excellent. All, all, all is going to change and that will sure. improve your hygiene and so sure. the hygiene system itself is reinvented you know sure. previously if you are, if you ask somebody to wash the hand you know sure. the public will not understand today you don't <laughs> right. have to explain sure. washing hand yeah it's a is a great thing and Absolutely. even it's a national slogan now for many yeah. countries yeah 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 so these are the good so, learnings i think uh, from this uh, crisis you know so yeah yeah i uh, think uh, yeah. this crisis has brought uh, you know the best and the worst out of people 
Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Unfortunately, yeah, the the worst also you can say I don't have to explain. And, yeah. Um, uh, you know, people are going crazy. They are at the yeah. at the edge of uh, uh, their emotional status. Sure. And sure. Uh, suicides and crimes. But sure. Yeah, the, the 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 best has come out when we are yeah. standing together and we understand sure. that we have to survive together. And if, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. If we understand that sooner or later, you know, sooner yeah. than later, and that will be sure. the best thing we can do. Well, so, yeah, what so, a wonderful thing you said. Standing yeah. together, sorry to interrupt, but standing together and survive together. Please carry on. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Please carry on. Yeah. So um, th th that, that's what we have to look towards the future. So everything which yeah. we are designing, and uh, it is in way of designing the trust, designing sure. the loyalty, and designing right. the patient engagement yeah. or customer yeah. engagement and customer yeah. we we call we don't call patients now we call guests and in our hospital guest. we call uh, Very guest good. yeah absolutely and, nice yeah, yeah so guest experience and that's what we Very are good. looking at so Very it good. should be seamless it should be yeah. fast and they should go out with an experience rather than yeah. they came for a treatment and this complication yeah. and that complication and patient Beautiful. safety and the hygienic system has to be quite a new normal. Sure. And that's what Wonderful. we learned from this opportunity. Beautiful. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah. Uh, the viewers, uh, the professionals, uh, the med medical, the doctors and others in the uh, audience, they are learning a lot of things uh, even in this short period. And I think the viewers who are not from medical profession, you know, they have a lot of, I think, people's awareness and interest about healthcare have increased. So I think I think everyone, including me, will take a lot of uh, uh, comfort from the way you are handling the situation and you are describing. Wonderful. And in fact, you have again led me to the next question I was going to ask you. This emotional part, you know, we talk in management about EQ and IQ. EQ is more important anyway in any industry. But in healthcare, it is more, anyway, it was always more uh, important because this is the sector where you don't have an inanimate object at the end of a supply chain like a car or computer, yeah. uh, but you have a human body in agony and surrounded by anxious patients and, uh, sorry, uh, relatives and well-wishers. So the emotional part is very important, even the corona warriors. So my question to you uh, is, how do you, you know, I mean, of course, your personality helps you, I think, but how do you balance the softer management aspects like people handling, communication challenges, you know, in this uh, uh, time, communication challenges even more. The care perspectives with balancing all these requirements with the pressures of day-to-day -day crisis management, pressures yeah. of resource crunch, pressures of yeah. sadness and anxiety handling. How do you balance it, sir? Yeah, I think um, um, it is uh, very important and uh, it's a very important question. And um, you have to, uh, the emotional intelligence of uh, EI uh, should be used very well. And um, sure. I, I think, um, a, you know, for example, uh, we started <clears throat> like a barefoot counseling. Uh, right. Barefoot counseling means your colleague can counsel um, the another person in the room. Sure. And uh, sure. she is depressed and uh, she is a little bit, uh, right. you know, uh, having personal problems. Immediately, sure. she herself, we train people, the volunteers, sure. we train them. Sure. And uh, there is a lot of people who were at the right. verge of uh, uh, having problems, emotional outbreak, uh, suicidal tendencies. Uh, and uh, so we, we, we train the colleagues. Uh, so the, mm. everyone who mm. was willing mm. to come for a, uh, a counseling session or a training session, sure. we sure. train them. So we call it barefoot sure. counseling. And, barefoot uh, counseling. We, we, yeah. yeah, barefoot counseling. And mm. uh, we have kept, uh, you know, we always told all the managers, please keep in touch with your people in every level very closely. Sure. Ever, uh, uh, you know, more than ever before. And sure. uh, the communication and uh, the honesty. Say sure. the truth. Tell them sure. the truth. And that's sure. the only way. And uh, sure. show the empathy. So the sure. emotional intelligence really led to be honest with the people, be transparent sure. with the people. And right. even right. when we had to do the, uh, uh, the, the restructuring of compensation, 
because sure. of the crisis and the crisis. economic exactly. impact. Yeah. yeah. Go, we went and told them, this is what is happening around us. And this is what we are going to do. And we are trying to do as less as possible, but we, ha we have no choice but to do. And it was sure. a very, uh, you know, very, very satisfactory feeling that sure. no one really was, uh, um, you know, complaining about it or murmuring about it. And sure. so uh, we, we had to repeat that communication and we have to right. go on. We have to say that how this pandemic has affected the mankind. Right. And right. Uh, so right. that kind of an approach, balancing sure. uh, the, the, you know, their emotions and also, and one time sure. they were very scared to approach um, uh, the... the the COVID patients. Sure. And uh, we never had COVID patients until about four or five months ago. And sure. uh, so we thought that Kerala model it is working very well. And uh, therefore, <laughs> yeah. uh, very small numbers. And we yeah. didn't have to. And government right. also, um, you know, had uh, good facilities. And they were, right. you know, uh, uh, they, they were rehabilitating the people there. Sure. But sure. unfortunately, <clears throat> the, the yeah. equations changed. And yeah. uh, certainly we, we changed it around now. And then the doctors understood that they had to deal with the people, the worker, workers understood. And sure. with the proper counseling, we definitely, okay. and now they're all in front to really treat the COVID patients and uh, non-COVID patients in the same manner without sure. any, you know, really I salute them for that kind sure. of an attitude, which was, that, that's a transformation. That, that's an exactly wonderful transformation. Sure. Wonderful. No, so, yeah. you know, Dr. Sadullah, since I had the pleasure of knowing you personally for many years, from my uh, Philips and your Kim's years, uh, I honestly think you have been one of the most positive and balanced, honest, transparent senior professionals in healthcare that I have <laughs> ever come across. Thank you. So, <laughs> Thank uh, you. seriously, honor. you know. <laughs> No, yeah. and I mean it, and I think the viewers need to know that. So I was, I, I will just quote with your permission something, one of my favorite quotes of Albert Einstein. And yeah. he said that out of this is, I felt this is exactly representative of our current challenging situation. He said, out of clutter, find simplicity. I'm saying this because what I heard from you in the last 25 minutes is almost this reflection, you know, out of clutter, mm -hmm. find simplicity from discord, find harmony. And in the middle of the difficulty lies the opportunity. So, you know, I think whatever uh, you have been sharing with us almost reflects this from the great philosopher, scientist, you know, the greatest, one of the greatest guys that I'm we have had in humanity. So uh, what does a top flag bearer, we are almost coming to the end of this beautiful conversation, but I want to ask you, what does a top flag bearer of the positives of the positives in the Indian healthcare, Dr. M.I. Sadullah, think of the positives that will evolve from this great crisis. There is so much of negativity. You know, people call me saying, Anjanda, we uh, uh, called you just to suck your positivity, get something. You are also a very positive, uh, 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 diehard personality. So as a flag bearer, what are the positives you share with others uh, we should carry from this crisis? I think uh, there's a um, lot of uh, good things are going to emerge um, out sure. of this crisis. And uh, one of them will be that um, one of them uh, is and one of them will be, do, uh, you know, the teamwork. The people right. st uh, start right. learn to team. Yeah. And sure. uh, they, they will not think that, oh, I, I want more patience I, and uh, I, I will take a share of the other guy yes. or I will yeah. keep this and otherwise it will go to him. And sure. all that changes. I think there is enough room for all of us in this world. And uh, other, uh, even otherwise, the COVID is making enough room for Correct. us. And, uh, <laughs> <Great. so laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. And therefore, yeah. uh, I think uh, that teamwork and uh, empathy to each other and, sure. uh, you know, um, sure. that cooperation will make a lot of changes uh, in the possibility Wonderful. of healthcare delivery. Uh, Wonderful. That's, that's what I feel. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Sadullah, coming yeah. from a top doctor like you and the yeah. builder of a leading institute in healthcare, this is music to the ears. Wonderful. I'd like to conclude with your permission by a few very, you know, I'm, I'm just feeling tempted because of 
uh, our knowing each other some quick yep. rapid fire questions three or four yeah. are you okay for sure. that yeah, rapid I'm, fire okay. you can give a one word one line answer whatever you want and uh, so a very simple say for example what are the top priorities for your team now you think there are changes as we heard from you so if you close your eyes what are the top priorities now and in the coming months and maybe couple of years for your team for I, and I, you i i i i think again i if i i'm sorry to repeat that no no I no problem the, yeah uh, what i've told them is that continue the team work and sure. uh, team sure. may not be all like the fingers team will be different but uh, but working together you know, the sure. hand has got a function to do sure. and uh, bring in ethics and uh, you know the ethical part sure. of medical medicine sure. and uh, in india you know i think it is um, patchy and uh, therefore bring it up and stand Excellent. for medical ethics stand for patients and Excellent. that will you know that healing touch all the technology sure. all the digitalization sure. should not take away the healing touch of a doctor sure. and uh, and uh, healing touch healing smile and a, sure. a patient listening continue with that sure. one along with the teamwork will will drive you wonderful teamwork yeah. healing touch working together yeah. for the good yeah. of the uh, good of the guest not patient yeah. but guest good of I, the guest wonderful good of the guest Yeah. Uh, it's a Dr. Sadullah. This is nothing to do with healthcare. Uh, if if Dr. Sadullah did not become a doctor, possibly that wouldn't have happened anyway. But yeah. if he did not become a doctor, what would his aspiration be uh, to have become something else? We all have a second aspiration. <laughs> See, uh, now I am a doctor and an entrepreneur, and right. uh, so so uh, I don't know. It's a different job or the same job. But uh, yeah. if if it is. Uh, uh not uh, in in this uh, sphere of healthcare right. i would right. have been in a in a educational or teaching sure. uh, which i like sure. like very much sure like, i can like relate to that i yeah. can relate to that i i think anyway you are a great teacher to many people in the healthcare sector and uh, you. you know I, I, yeah absolutely i think we have all learned from you even as uh, partners vendors suppliers from philips or in the industry days i think we all learn from each other definitely we learn from you and lastly one mantra that dr sadullah has followed all his life you know um even yeah, if it is repetitive I, I, doesn't matter even if it is yeah, repetition yeah. doesn't matter yeah yeah one mantra. I, i think the important thing we always um, i always uh, try to follow and we always um, is um, honesty and um, um sure. when we say honest yeah i i will also add that i think some of the uh, vedas and um, um the uh, the religious books sure. might have said sure. this sure. Uh, what sure. i always uh, it's uh, it's on my table yield sure. unto others uh, for things which do not matter sure. but be Wonderful. firm like a rock when right and wrong is concerned ah, and very that's good. my philosophy wonderful yeah. well, that, that's <laughs> a great way you know i think yeah. this has been personally for me the best half an hour or 35 minutes of my work week from sunday to today uh, i didn't expect anything else it is uh, i wish there was another half an hour but all good things must come to an end i'm going to catch up with you separately dr sadullah i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for this free flowing beautiful conversation with a lot of good messages for not only healthcare professionals but for a lot of uh, uh, our viewers who have kindly given their time on a friday evening to listen to you and uh, of course uh, my compliment to voice of healthcare for doing such a nice thing like broadcasting and bringing professionals like us together to have a dialogue thank you very much sir god bless you. you and your family and your all the team you you are such a team person so i must say god bless kim's team and dr sadullah and uh, wish you god speed all the very best thank you very anjan, much dr sadullah anjan thank you very much indeed it was a great pleasure i am honored that uh, you 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 interviewed me and uh, it's a great pleasure thank you very much to everyone thank you. in the studio and uh, god bless you thank you thank you thanks thank you take care thank, thank you, you. bye but take care